Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're just gonna do a quick one. Uh, I had a comment, somebody was asking about analyzing their screenplay. It was like a longer one. So uh, I figured I'd just kind of go through how I do that. Uh, again, we're gonna be in Gemini today and this is aistudio.google.com, not gemini.com, don't go to that one. Come here, cause this is where you can turn off the Safety settings, you know, it was in the last video I talked about it. They're right over here on the side. You come here and say, hey, turn this garbage off. Let me write what I want. And that's what we're doing. But we've already done that in fact. And uh, what we're really doing today is we're gonna analyze something that we wrote last night. And so I'll go through the system prompt first. It's gonna be a little different than you guys are used to. I'm just getting it more simple now. So we're giving it a roll. And it's screenwriting a system with 200 IQ. We're giving it a goal to analyze our story and provide in-depth critique of the story, pacing and characters. Uh, we're gonna tell it that it's gonna receive a PDF of a screenplay and that it received uh, concept files and used the provided concept files and analyze the script uh, for any pacing, right? Character and all that other stuff. And if you wanna know how to make those concept files, you go watch the previous videos and you'll know. So, and they're up on the GitHub. So they'll be in there if you want them. And we're gonna be using story and the writer's journey. We're not using Save the Cat because it doesn't really apply to this one, but you could use Save the Cat if you're doing a feature. Like the guy asked, you'd wanna throw your Save the Cat concepts in there. See if it fits all the beats, okay? Make sure that you're like uh, thinking about the concepts that you need to have in your script and, and you're priming it with the information that you want it to use, okay? And you do that in the way that I explained in the Gemini 1.5 video. And we'll kind of show you real quick here shortly. And if you like all this kind of stuff that you guys are seeing, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this stuff around. It really helps the channel out. And then head over to my Twitter if you want like more stuff than what I'm throwing up on the YouTube because I'm getting more into the stable video. I'll throw up some of my stuff on there. And you'll see I made a little uh, kind of thing, a video on my Twitter for this thing that we're gonna analyze today. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in, I've already got them in there. So I'm gonna go to my files. All right, so I had a bit of an audio issue when I was doing that. Uh, my AC kicked on and I'm in like a new place and it's summer now, so I didn't realize. So anyway, so we added all this, we had it critique it. It was getting it wrong at first cause it's not, this is like a parody thing. So if you have something that doesn't exactly fall into these critiques, but would still benefit from a lot of the information, put them in and then correct it. Like it's a parody of a reality show. It's like, okay, it'll start analyzing based off that. And let's say that you're like, well, okay, that's good. I like what it's telling me. Let's say, let's refine this and help me make this better, please. And you know, ask me questions and provide suggestions in bullets below the questions. And then we've seen that before on the channel. So that's like a collaborative world building kind of thing. It asks you a question. And then it suggests things. And this is right. It gets that we want to go for Master Chef. So it's saying hone in on this rather than his over the top anger, which we've already done in the screenplay. He doesn't really get all that mad. It's more like little slams. I'm a Gordon Ramsay aficionado. So I know all about what it's telling me here. And so next up, it's just going to say like, you know, what are, what's this? I could go in and answer this if I want to. I won't do it in the video. I want to keep them short for you. But that's how you analyze. And just remember, uh, you can toy with this. Uh, this is kind of how you want to do it. Role, goal, constant, context, constraints. And then if you actually like this or whatever, like whatever, you put an example. You just put examples of like this. Like, let's say this is actually good. Um, this parody and I should actually put the parody in there. Uh, so I'll put this in the example and then context. I'll be like, this is a parody of the reality show Master Chef said in a kind of genetic uh, post apocalypse. I don't want to give you guys too much. It's a good, it's a good story. So um, that's how you would do that. And then you do that. So yeah, so I'll call it there. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I hope you liked the video and I appreciate you, the subscribers. We're up to like 600 something. Uh, let me see. Let me just go over and look at that real quick. 
so that I'm not just being all blase about this. We're up to 6.39 as uh, I put this video out today. So thank you guys. Uh, I appreciate all the subs. And then uh, share the videos around if you like them. And head over to the Twitter, like I said at the beginning of the video. If you want to see some of my uh, kind of like crazy shit. Here I'll put like videos and like the more polished stuff. So as I make Gorgo, I'll put it up here. But I think more of my tests and stuff like that. And like my comfy kind of tests. There, that, that stuff's going to go on Twitter. And you know just come over and like interact or whatever. It helps to have the interactions and my Twitter's pretty small. So, all right guys, I'll see you next time. And then, uh, take it easy.